I have news actually that the Joker sequel is out, right? We got no, so Joker sequel has been um, confirmed actually from by the Hollywood Reporter. So anyone that watched the Joker will know that that movie is incredible. Um, I think um, I was surprised to see how well it did in the box office, but I think maybe a combination of the press's reaction, especially some of the journalists who were hell bent on making sure the film wasn't successful or you know, were trying to put put it out there that it could be dangerous, it could encourage incels to essentially massacre people in cinema comp- um, cinema theatres or movie theatres for the most part. I think some movie theatres in America had police officers, plainclothes police officers sitting in the, in, the, in the seats to make sure nothing went wrong. But so far, no issues, no problem. Um, again, a really amazing story, a really amazing movie, a really amazing movie, so a movie <laughs> by Todd Phillips, a very fresh look at the superhero genre and also a really cool origin story and um it's no surprise that they've decided to go with a sequel well after well after watching the joker i'd have to say personally that i'm not really i don't really care for a sequel i think the story can be left exactly where it is i think maybe um going and focusing on other uh dc comics um characters and kind of focusing on their origin story would be perfectly cool I think the way of doing origin stories like this is quite interesting. You know, the, the fact that some people left the Joker um, still a bit confused, not knowing why they were rooting for somebody who was essentially, you know, a mass murderer in that respect. It's a hard thing to kind of get your brain around or kind of to figure out. But that's the beauty of these origin stories, especially when you focus them on the superhero and on the villain. You can sometimes get some interesting stories pulled out of them. And I think if, if anyone has read comics, the one disappointing thing about some of the movies that have kind of adapted some of the comic books is that they're not as complex and they're not as detailed or layered as some of the comic books that we might have read in the past or maybe in our youth. Um, you know that, you know, the superhero genre is a very complex issue. A lot of the characters within Marvel and the DC universes aren't as um, black and white as it seems. There is a lot of layers to them um, where they kind of got to in their position, whether it's being a superhero or a villain, there is a complex story at hand that needs to be kind of delved into. And there's also kind of really cool motifs and themes that can be pulled out there and made into really excellent movies. But it's hard nowadays, right? Especially with the with the need for production company with a need for production companies to make money. Um, with you know, most of the stuff in cinema being cookie cutter, really boring movies out there that don't really move the needle. It's hard for product production companies to invest money into films that are maybe leaning you know are maybe closer to the art house side of things than they are to the you know uh blockbuster movie side of things but the joke was able to do both things at the same time again i think some some of the reasons some of the reason why this is successful is because of the detractors everyone that said no everyone that was you know telling people not to watch it probably attracted more of an audience more eyes you know the more dangerous something is the more people are going to be intrigued by it i reckon in that regard but anyway story on the hollywood reporter the joker sequels in the works as todd phillips eyes more dt origin stories um it says the following on october the 7th director todd phillips headed to warner brothers picture groups to chairman toby eichmann's office buoyed by a film's 96 million opening weekend haul sources tell hollywood reporter he proposed an outsized idea the rights to develop a portfolio of DC characters origin stories. That is amazing. So essentially we're going to see Todd Phillips do a whole range of origin stories within the DC universe, which is really cool to see. I can't wait to see which characters he kind of digs. So hopefully we get some of the lesser known characters um, highlighted. Um, Emrick balked. After all, Warner Brothers is very protective of the DC canon and all the other DC deals have been for one film only. And what, um, But Phillips did emerge from the meeting with rights to at least one other DC story. Sources say, and now that Joker has crossed the 1 billion mark, a sequel is on the way as the movie keeps racking in money overseas. And this, you have to remember, this $1 million uh, made from the Joker has so far happened without the inclusion or without the addition of what they're going to make when this movie eventually heads over to china or eventually heads over to asia it's going to be insane that's going to be a whole nother route of course for the actors it's not going to be a good time they're going to have to go on the whole other round of press junkets and stuff but it's going to be a whole you know they might end up making close to 500 million or 600 million or 400 million when they go over to asia so it's an insane amount of money they've, they've made and i'm pretty sure they they didn't they didn't invest that much into it or i think it was really a nominal amount and they've you know they've reaped the benefits out of it so i'm not surprised that they would go for a, a second round because you know they're not gonna make another billion probably not i think the novelty of it being the first the novelty of it being the first in the kind of run of the top phillips movies kind of kind of got it over the one billion mark 
if there is the slight possibility he's able to kind of make because rarely you get movie sequels that are as good as the original but if he's able to do it make a sequel that's better that's that's at the same level as the original or better than by you know by a small margin who's not who's to say it won't uh cross the one billion mark again but if they're able just to make 500 million on it like that's still an insane amount of money right insane amount of money especially when you see what the other big boss box office movies have made over the last few years um it continues and now joker has crossed the one billion mark a sequel's on the way as the movie keeps raking in more money overseas phillips is in talks to reprise his role as director for a second joker outing he and scott silver who penned the gritty joker screenplay will write the follow-up the th has learned uh warner's has, um warner's has sequel options in place for joker star joaquin phoenix who has emerged as a strong contender in the oscars best race the studio and stuff is rep ca the kind of come which is fine which is a uh, good business they signed they signed um they gave working Phoenix a contract that is stipulated that if the film was successful they would um have the what's that called they'd have the rights to sign him to a sequel before anyone else, I'm assuming, right? That's just good business sense. And I'm sure he's making a bucket load of cash on that as well. So congrats to him. Joker marks the fourth DC title to cross the 1 billion mark following the footsteps of the 2018 Aquaman, uh, Dark Knight Rises, uh, The Dark Knight, but it's 60 million budget is far less than his previous movies. Of course, they, they must have, what? Uh, previous film so it's also assured the generating profits for more than 500 million they only invested 60 million in that film it's a budget and they made a billion that's insane but it's in good company though right uh, aquaman dark knight rises and dark knight and i haven't watched aquaman i just didn't like the concept of a you know the fish guy whatever not really a big fan of it even though i'm a big fan of the actor i didn't like the whole idea and it looked a little bit too slapstick comedy ish um, as much as I like 4 as well, all the constant jokes kind of got on my nerves. So that was why I didn't watch Aquaman. But, you know, it crossed the 1 billion mark, um, which is insane to see. So it's a really good company, Joker. Article continues. Oops, what's happening there? The refresh. Let's go again. Da, da, da. Article continues. The unexpected uh, bounty also generating a huge payday for Phillips 48. Sources say the director will earn close to 100 million when the dust has settled. He deferred his upfront salary in exchange for a bigger size of adjusted growth, which is awesome. So he, again, this is good negotiating for anyone that is, you know, thinking to get into creative field. Sometimes leaving the money on the table, not taking the upfront money, betting on yourself, and then, you know, stipulating that you'll get a bit off the, you know, off the gross when they did, when all said and done, it's probably the right way to go about things. And again, um, I think good work should be rewarded like this because it encourages good behavior. Now, um, production uh, producers direct directors sorry screenwriters instead of kind of going for the low-hanging fruit and the easy win they're gonna be maybe pushing themselves a bit further now to pen something that is as gritty as compelling as kind of thought-provoking as the joker has been to kind of present it to production companies and production companies will be more open to maybe uh filming and putting some money behind them because they've seen the success of joker so i like that the fact that sometimes these um real kind of quintessential maybe passion projects or things that lend itself more to the creative side of things as opposed to the commercial side of things are successful because then it means that the commercial side of, of things the people with the money people that can put you know that can really up the budget up the bounty are able to see that there's oh there's a demand for this let me get behind it before it's too late which is banging to see right the, 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 with the joker phillips already toyed with the idea of uh, bruce wayne's origin story a letter written uh by the mother arthur fleck aka the joker implies that the two are half brothers but penny fleck might not have been the telling the truth given that fleck's family for sprinty to imagine things that haven't taken place still he won't be explaining the batman bat story which is sad for me because i'm a big fan of batman um that task is already in the hands of writer director matt reeves whose batman starring robert patterson is coming to theaters on june 25th 2021 which I'm very curious to see what that's going to look like. I think everyone is really underestimating how good of an actor Robert Pattinson is. I think he's also keenly aware of the reception that Ben Affleck's Batman got. I think he's also keenly aware of kind of doing a good job. And I also think The Dark Knight Rises is still a Batman that hasn't been surpassed, hasn't been touched as of yet. I think we were, well, I think news came recently that Christian Bale didn't, uh, declined or rejected an offer to uh, reprise his role as Batman. So that's um, that's kind of frustrating. But maybe with Robert Pattinson being as young as he is and kind of moving and trying to get a, get a role that essentially is able to kind of you know really push his acting career, acting pro, you know um, journey to the next level. Maybe being able to kind of hit the Batman role out of the park first time round could be the way forward. 
again, there's a lot of pressure on this Batman movie, especially with the success of Joker, but I think they're going to do a good job. I think people are going to be um, pleasantly surprised of just how good of an actor Robert Pattinson is. And again, as long as the, direct, as long as the screenplay is so solid and the directing is solid, you know, we should be in, in for a really, really cool movie. Uh, there's a Wonder Woman uh, whose adolescence um, on the hidden island of whatever that word is was laid out by screenwriter Alan Heinberg in Patty Jenkins' 20, 2017 film that grossed 821 million, which was a really good movie too. As for DC villain origin story, that should be my next. Phillips would be well suited to either Dark Side, a tyrannical ruler who is worshipped by some of the gods of the evil, or Metropolis, or Metropolis a power mad one percenter Lex Luthor. Um, yeah that's the whole thing so yeah loads of money made hopefully we'll see it make more money when it goes to asia i can't wait to see the sequel and what they have planned again i'm not super excited for the sequel but i can't wait to see it regardless um it could be a surprise that we've all been waiting for who knows